Hello everyone, Vincent Hill from HDTV Test here. I'm here at LG's booth opening at IFA 2019 and LG is actually not showing many new products. We saw the rollable OLED TV, which we first saw at CES. We saw the 8K 88-inch Z9 OLED TV, which was also shown at CES. But this is a fairly interesting demonstration that I don't think has been shown to the public before. So basically, when you're buying a new 8K television, now, besides worrying about HDMI 2.1, you have to worry about whether it is real 8K or fake 8K. And LG's argument is this, what defines the resolution of an 8K television? Now, the traditional definition would be the number of pixels, but LG is arguing that having the exact number of pixels that fulfill the 8K specification is not enough because it depends on also whether you can discern between black and white, single pixel, what they are calling contrast modulation in terms of the metric which has actually been defined by the ICDM and other international organizations, including the ISO. And you can see that there are two screens side by side here. One of them is obviously LG's own NanoCell 8K television. And the other screen is vaguely named other 8K. But by guessing and by looking at the subpixel dithering, I can guess that this is probably a Samsung 8K television. And what LG is arguing is that because Samsung is trying to increase the viewing angle by two methods. One is by using subpixel dithering. I've mentioned this in my review of the Samsung Q90R. And the second method is by applying a viewing angle compensation film. Now this viewing angle compensation film will actually degrade the contrast. So by applying these two methods to increase the viewing angle, LG is claiming that Samsung is actually degrading the resolution of the 8K sets, such as the Q900R, the Q950R. And as you can see here, we have a microscope that is moving up and down the screen across both sets, either on a single grill pattern or really, really fine letters or pictures. And the microscope will be magnifying what you actually can see from the screen. And as you can see from what I've actually filmed here, the close-up detail on the other 8K TV is blurrier with less contrast. And the one on the NanoCell 8K set is significantly sharper. And based on the contrast modulation measurement, the NanoCell 8K set actually achieves 90%, whereas the other 8K set only achieves 12%. And the question is this, if it is so blurry that you can't discern a single pixel black versus a single pixel white, is it still fulfilling the specifications of 8K? And that is the central argument, central premise of this interesting demonstration at LG's booth at IFA 2019. Let us know your thoughts and if you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.